action, baby. Live action. So guys, we're at the Dungan Donuts drive-thru. This is not a regular event for me. However, you know, filming this YouTube video, you know, time got away a little bit. So we're heading to the gym now and it's been a couple, it's been about two and a half hours since my last meal. And it's about a 30 minute drive to the gym that we're going to. So definitely need to fuel up. So we went with a cheddar cheese bagel twist. Now hear me out on this because a lot of people say like, this doesn't sound healthy. And I don't regularly eat this. This is kind of just like a once in a while type of thing when you're on the go. But I looked at the macros on MyFitnessPal. Phenomenal, phenomenal macros. Like 64 carbs, only eight grams of fat and 16 grams of protein. A lot, surprisingly high in protein, high in carbs, which is gonna directly give me an insane pump this workout. I don't have a backup plan for this. In case I don't have any, hopefully they have some. In croissant stuffers, chick. Hi, how are you? Good, uh, may I get two cheddar cheese bagel twists, please? Oh, if they were warm, that'd be awesome. Thank you. Uh, anything else? No, that'll be all. Thank you. Appreciate it. Dang, they had a uh, croissant stuffer. It was a croissant stuffed with chicken, bacon, and egg. And it was only 330 calories, which is like less than this bagel we're going to eat. Must have been crazy protein there. I'm getting that next time. But we're going to use this gift card. Um, I got this like two years ago for Christmas, so hopefully it still works. <laughs> Alrighty, we just got the goods. This is what it looks like if you guys never had it. I see these all the time as a kid. It's been like probably like a few years since I last had one, but this is gonna be the pump of the century. So let's go. five weeks now we are down from 197 to 189 so I guess that's about eight pound difference which is right on track um, and let's take a look at the physique it's like 40 degrees with wind chill right now here in Connecticut so judging by the physique there's some changes that need to be made. All right, so first change is we're lowering my calories from 2,600 calories a day down to 2,400 calories per day. I'll put the macros, the new macros up on the screen here, and I'm gonna take you through my post-workout meal. Oopsies. So we got chicken. This is what happens when you meal prep, guys. It's nice and quick. A lot of times a lot of people eat food that isn't in the macros because they don't have it already prepared and no one has time to cook. I mean, I don't have time to cook like all the time. So we got our chicken here, meal prepped, ready to go. So we're gonna pop this on the plate with some Uncle Ben's rice, but it's just Ben now. I don't know, they got rid of the uncle part. 
So we got Basmani rice. We got a half a bag of this. So that's gonna be about 40 carbs. That's gonna be my carb source. And then I wanna show you guys the secret ingredient. Bada bing, bada boom. We got Classico creamy Alfredo sauce. What we're gonna do with this is we're gonna put that on the chicken. And a lot of you guys are thinking, you can have cheese sauce on a cut? The answer is yes, because if we look at the macros on this, it's 3.5 grams of fat per serving. Only three carbs. It's gonna add some flavor to the chicken because it's gonna have a couple low calorie sauces in your arsenal so that you know you can make <laughs> so that you can make you know chicken taste different every time you eat it and it gets less boring. So let's let's go make this. So we're gonna log this in my fitness pal. We're gonna put 150 grams of chicken on the plate. So as you guys know, we zero it out. We add that. 183 grams. We can't have that. I should have brought a knife for fingers. There we go. No one else is eating this. 154 grams. Guys, you don't need to be perfectly exact with this. And we're going to press tear here. Zero it out. Now we're going to add our rice. We'll pour that on top. Oh boy. So embarrassing. I'm just picking the rice off the counter. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right, boom. There we go. We got our rice. We got our chicken. We're gonna tear it out again. We're gonna log that in there. Now we're gonna add the Classico Alfredo, which really makes this whole signature dish of mine. Mm. And we're going to add on the Alfredo. We got 60 grams is the serving, so we're gonna watch this. When it gets to 60, that's it. Watch how much we get out of this. Watch this. Almost there. Dang it. <laughs> Close, all right. 60 grams, that's a lot, that's a lot. We're gonna pop this in the microwave for one minute. You know, that's how fast we can prep this, guys. Like once you have all your ingredients together, that's how fast. Now you guys are wondering, where are your vegetables, right? We need, we don't, we don't need vegetables to like lose fat and shred up our body, but vegetables are gonna impact how we feel, our energy level, which will directly impact you know, our activity level. So what I do, is we don't have any vegetables prepared so I'll grab spinach here if I can open this All right. grab a handful like this we gotta get our vegetables in so oh my gosh or you could just eat vegetables like a normal person at the end of the day like Mackenzie said you could make normal vegetables I didn't have them made yet but at the end of the day guys it doesn't matter how you go about doing things as long as you get it done. So whether you want to cook your vegetables or you want to just eat them raw like that, or just grab them. At the end of the day, it just matters that you get it done. Whatever means you need to do to get there, take that means. What is up, super fit family? Guys, thank you so much for watching today's episode. Just finished uh, editing, it's actually the next day now. Spent a long time editing this video. So if you guys could like this video and subscribe if you're not already, it would mean the world to me. Hopefully you guys learned something and let me know in the comment section what you guys wanna see more of on this channel. And maybe there's like a certain topic you want me to cover about fat loss or about this cut. Just a reminder that on your journey, guys, on your fat loss journey, that there are gonna be times where you come to plateaus or you wanna speed up your progress. It's important to stay true and stay on your path, but it's also important to understand, you know, where you can improve upon. And for me, you know, it's time to move my calories down a little bit lower for that next stage. So guys, remember, you know, when you're on your fat loss journey, your body's changing and it's important to be changing your habits over time, guys, because as they say, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. So if you want to take it to that next level, like me, you know, it's time for me to start implementing in different tactics. But appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. It would mean the world to me. And I will see you guys next week.